Hi everybody, this is Edwin from Ocean Engineering Inc. and today we are going to see how to create welding using the discovery tool a new in this release 2024R1 and how to construct a mesh within ANSYS Mechanical. Let's go to the discovery interface where I have a typical um, shell structure that we can construct from a 3D model. In this case I already extracted the, the shell geometry, we can see that here hiding the solids and showing the mid surface. We can see there are some gaps between the parts uh, created because uh, of the geometry ex mid surface extraction and that's why we need to create this uh, welding in this geometry. Then we can go to the prepare tab and look for the welds uh, section and we are going to use the assign tool. In this case we have this fillet weld uh, tool that allows us to create our different uh, welding in our assembly. In this case we are going to use the tool to create to look uh, through the entire geometry to create the welding across all the geometry. To do so we are going to uh, open this panel, this option panels, and we can create uh, for example a uh, we can define a detection distance uh, using, for example, at this time, five millimeters to be sure we are capturing all the gaps between the different geometry. And in that way, we can uh, then we can select all the geometry, just drag a box here, and we can see these pink lines that show us where the welding geometry will be created. This is right for this example, and we can hit this OK um, mark and we are going to have our geometry. In that way we can see we have this fillet weld created which is the first one we created and we can use, uh, we can see this, all these bodies which are the different continue, continuous seam welding structures that will be used uh, to create a mesh in ANSYS Mechanical. Now we are going to go to our uh, workbench project and add an static structural analysis. We're doing so. We're doing so. A rest, um, drag and drop this block and um, refreshing our geometry from the J from the A block. Once the geometry is updated, we can open ANSYS Mechanical just by double click in the cell and opening the software. Now we can go to mechanical where we have already imported our geometry. This is the same geometry but we can see here now for example we have new bodies. In this case we have the mid surface from the structural parts and we have all these beams which have been created from the welding tool. And in that way we are going to create our mesh. The first step here is to add for example a, a method which will be applied to the to all bodies okay we can use control a to select all of them automatically and we are going to change the method for automatic prime mesh which will allow us to create our mesh correctly then in the meshing um, tool we can modify the element size in this case two millimeters will work well and then we can add our weld control. Doing so, we can define the different um, parameters that which are needed to create our bodies. Let's reduce this, and in that way we can see the different tab. Okay, good. Now, we can use, for example, here, uh, we are gonna model our, our welding using normal and angled um, approach which will create a, sur a vertical surface, a normal surface from one uh, face and then another inclined to create, to mimic the, the welding, the seam weld. Then we are going to define, we are going to use two rows, uh, two element rows in the welding. That means we are going to uh, divide our surface using two elements and then we can select uh, the way we are going to create our our welding mesh objects. 
In this case, we're going to use curves approach. We have several options, and, but uh, because we previously defined these bodies in, inside discovery, we can just use curves, which will be easier for us. Then we're going to change this curve scoping to body selection, and then we're going to choose the first one of them. In that way, we are going to create in just one weld. You can see here this has been identified by the body we selected from the list but we can use the same tool to create all of them we are going to see that later okay now we can create we can modify some additional controls to have a better mesh here for example i am going to modify the edge mesh size instead of two which is the default value i'm going to use one millimeter which is the half of the element size in the shell bodies then I am going to assign some material for my welding, in this case, the, by a structural steel, which is created by default. And in that way, we have all the configuration ready for create our first um, welding body. But I, I like to use this same uh, weld control to create all the weldings in my body. In, to doing so, I am going to change this property, which is named use worksheet as yes. And I, now I have activated this table. Here in this button, create controls for all curve bodies. I can add all the bodies, all the bodies in just one uh, control, which is very useful for, for um, complex models. Then I can go back to my mesh and create that just here in generate mesh. Okay, now we have our um, mesh created and we can see the details here. For example, we can go here and see how the different shell bodies has been meshed and the welding mesh has been created automatically using these guide bodies, which were the beams we created from discovery. We can see how the shell, the shell mesh has been modified to be in compliance with our welding pro our our welding bodies and this is across the whole structure we can see the different points the different joints where we have this good behavior this good mesh that we can use to solve our analysis and to perform any calculations we want um, considering this welding okay this is all for this uh, video for this demonstration uh, i i hope that will be useful for you and see you in the next time